Hey friends, welcome to the first ever episode of Hang 10. We're so glad that we get to hang out with you for these next 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yep, you heard that right. These next 10 minutes are gonna be packed with laughs, some time to practice your artistic skills, worship, a Bible story, and even a chance for you to get featured on next week's episode. Trust us, you don't wanna miss a thing. For today's episode, you're going to need a piece of paper and something to draw with. So if you don't have those things already, pause the video and go grab them. Don't worry, we'll wait. Not a thing, Denise. So just sit back and prepare for lots of fun, and we'll see you at the end of the episode. It's time for Bubba Out Back! What's going on now? Welcome to Bubba Out Back. I'm Bubba, and we're... Out Back. Now, I know y'all ain't been to school in quite a while, but that's all right. That's why I created this here channel, to show you some life skills that might come in handy for you one day. You know what? Let's go see what we can get into. A great way to make sure that we've always got food on the table, grow your own. Get you some of these babies right here, little chickens, and you'll have breakfast covered for mama every single morning. But we have to be absolutely certain that the predators that live in them there woods can't get to these babies at night. You know what I mean? The foxes, the raccoons, the opossums, the hawks. As you can see, we've got a metal roof over their heads to protect from strikes from the air. On each and every side, we've got hardware mesh to keep predators from coming in. Under the grass here, you can't even hardly see it, is metal wires called a predator apron to keep the predators from digging under the fence. If you do all these things, you'll keep your chickens safe and they'll be able to sleep well each and every night. If tomorrow never comes, would she know how much I love her? Hey guys, welcome. We're so excited that you're here to worship with us today. Today we're going to be teaching you the motions to a new song called Waymaker. The beginning of this song starts out with those words. When you say Waymaker, you're going to take your hands across your chest and then spread them out like this. Next, it says Miracle Worker. You'll start with your hands at the bottom, scoop them up like this all the way up towards the sky. Next is Promise Keeper. Clap your hands together and bring them down in front of your chest, just like you do when you pray. Next is Light in the Darkness. You'll take your hands and flash them to the left, up towards the ceiling, and down to the right. Last, it says My God, and you'll point one hand towards the sky. That is the other hand, who you are, and bring your hands back down to your side. And that's it. That's all of our motions for the song Waymaker. We're so excited to be back with you in just a few minutes to continue to worship. But for now, you can go ahead and take a seat and get ready for today's Bible lesson. We all have things we love and things that make us feel comfortable. Our friends, our school, our routines. But what happens when all of that gets turned upside down? That is exactly what has happened in the last few months in our lives. We thought we knew what to expect and we worked to make sure things were exactly how we wanted them. But then, out of nowhere, we stopped going to school, we had to take a break from seeing our friends and family, and everything seemed to change. I want to share a story about a friend of mine named Knox. Knox lived in a neighborhood with some of his best friends. His grandma lived next door, he could ride his bike to the park to meet his friends, and he had a really cool treehouse in his backyard. At school, his favorite teachers were always waiting with a big smile to greet him. Knox loved everything about where he lived. He wasn't afraid of the spooky shadows that the trees made at night when it was windy because he had climbed most of those trees and they were actually pretty cool. He never felt alone because he knew all of his neighbors and he was never hungry because grandma always had chocolate chip cookies on the counter just in case he popped in for a visit. Knox had it made and he was certain that his life would always be perfect. But last year, Knox overheard his parents talking one night and began to get a funny feeling in his tummy that things were changing. Each night, his parents would sit in the kitchen and look at new houses. They talked about money a lot, and they kept saying it would all be okay. Knox didn't feel like everything was okay, though. He couldn't sleep at night, and he felt kind of worried. One night, when he was saying his prayers before bed, he decided to talk to his mom about it, and that's when she broke the news. His dad had gotten a new job, and they were moving. Knox was shocked. Why would they move away when everything was so perfect? 
After his mom went downstairs, Knox began to cry. How could this be happening? Where were they going? So many questions and so much uncertainty. Everything seemed to be falling apart. Once Knox learned the truth, every day something new seemed to be happening. Boxes started appearing in their house, things started getting packed away, and then one weekend while he was staying at his grandma's house, his parents came back really excited to share the big news. They had found a new house. They showed Knox lots of pictures and seemed so excited about it, but Knox began to cry. Why do we have to go, he asked. There's no tree house and none of my friends will be there. Knox ran to his room and buried his head under the pillow. His mom and dad came upstairs and hugged him tight. Knox, we know you're sad, but you'll make new friends. Our new neighborhood has a pool, and we found a really fun church that we think you will love. Knox picked his head up, but I like things the way they are, he sniffled. Knox's parents smiled. We know, sweetie, we do too, but things in our lives change, and we can't always stay the exact same. Besides, if we did, we may miss out on some really cool things that God has planned for us. The truth is, even though everything may seem to be changing, Jesus will never change. He loves you just as much living here as he will in our new house, and he is always there for us no matter what happens. Knox sat a little straighter. He wasn't excited about moving, but he decided to trust God anyway. And you know what? Things were more than okay. When Knox moved, he met so many new people, and he also got to see his old friends when he visited Grandma. It was like he had doubled his friends. He liked his new school and he even got to bring some of his friends to his new church. What seemed so scary and uncertain at first was only temporary because no matter where Knox and his family went, Jesus was there too and he always had a plan. Hebrews 13 6 says that Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. Even when so many things can feel uncertain and scary, Jesus will never change and never leave us. He is who we must trust. And trusting him, even when things don't go as planned, is how we build our faith. Faith isn't knowing that everything will be perfect, and it doesn't mean that we can never have questions. Faith is simply believing that Jesus is who he says he is and always choosing to trust him. It's drawing time! Today we're gonna draw an anchor. You know, lots of people call Jesus their anchor. Why do you think that is? I know anchors help boats stay where they should when the waves get crazy. But what does that have to do with Jesus? Maybe you can talk about it with your parents, dudes. Well, there's our anchor. Hang ten, dudes. It's time for Bubba Out Back! Yeah, and we're like, ooh, look, it's young Alan Jackson, if you will. Hold on. Hello? Huh? When you talking about? All right, hold on, I'm on the way. We just got a call that the chicken coop door was left wide open when the sun come up this morning, so we're heading to see if they're all still there. Oh, I hope that coming got them during the night. We just did some calculating. And we think they're all here. Thank goodness, I was getting worried for just a minute. Oh, Karen, I'm so sorry. I promise I'll check the door each and every night. Now I want to make sure it's shut, closed. I was absolutely certain that I had this too, as safe as it could be with all the protective measures that I was showing you earlier. But then I missed the simplest part and left the door wide slap open all night long. Thankfully, everybody was okay this time. Well, I sure do appreciate y'all tuning in to Bubba Outback today. 
We'll see you next time. I'm Bubba. Y'all come back. Bubba, lock them doors and keep your chicken safe. <laughs> Woo, that was a lot of fun. Has it been 10 minutes already? Not yet. We have something really exciting just for you. Each week we want to feature some of your amazing talents in what we're calling Cool Tricks. Cool Tricks. Wait, didn't I just say that? Yeah, you sure did. Uh, this week we need you to grab an adult and ask them to film you doing one of your very best, super incredible cool tricks. And we could explain it to you of course, but it would be much easier to show you what we mean. So check this video out. Michael took you that I can wiggle my ears. Those are some cool tricks. Cool tricks. Um, again, didn't I just? You, you did, you did, Denise, you, you did. Okay, friends, have your parents film your cool trick and send your video to the email address below. Each week, we'll pick some of our favorites and in just three weeks, we'll pick the very best cool trick and the winner will receive an awesome prize. That's right, so not only do you get to brag to all your friends and family and everyone that you meet that you have the very best, most spectacular cool trick, but you will also get an ice cream party delivered straight to your house. Ice cream? I love ice cream! Um, I guess you can eat the ice cream however you choose. We'll just be responsible for getting it to you. We can't wait to see your cool tricks. Cool tricks. Again with the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We can't wait to see your cool tricks, but most especially we can't wait to see you next week right here on Hang 10. See you next time. <laughs>